John Cena officially joined OnlyFans as his character from his new movie for marketing and promotional purposes. This was clearly a great idea because it got plenty of people talking about him and the movie. I wonder what he's gonna be posting on the site. If I had to guess, it could be images of his character or maybe even some clips from the movie. I wouldn't be surprised if the profile is somehow written in some point of the movie. That would make a lot of sense. I really didn't think I would wake up today seeing that John Cena started an OnlyFans account but that's 2024 for you. Moving on, we have an update on Brock Lesnar and his status in WWE 2K24. The company will be continuing to erase him since he's gonna be an unplayable character in the new video game. The reports say this, Brock Lesnar is in WWE 2K24, but you won't be able to play as him. Multiple sources have told Insider Gaming that while it was too late to fully remove Lesnar from the game, the plan shifted to simply making him unplayable for players upon release. Despite being unplayable, his character and game files are still within WWE 2K24. That means there will be ways for those with the ability to get him to become playable. It'll just take some work to make it happen. The WWE is really working hard to get rid of every trace of Brock Lesnar. This tells me that we should not expect him to come back ever again in the future. I can't see WWE going through all this and going this hardcore to remove him from everything only to ever bring him back in the future. You can pretty much assume that Brock Lesnar is done with the WWE and maybe wrestling all all together. And finally, here is a clip of Triple H talking about Rhea Ripley during an interview to build up hype for the Elimination Chamber, and you can tell just how much he appreciates and loves how Rhea Ripley is killing it right now in her role in the women's division. Has <laughs> Rhea been doing well under your watch for this, this press so far? It's not under my watch. No? She is just <laughs> incredible. She's a force of nature here. You know, it's funny that you see somebody come along um, where you see them in the very beginning of it and you see that like it's my job to like yeah. for these years has been to look at talent and see there's something there there's not something there right yep. sometimes you get it right sometimes you get it wrong to have somebody come in where you go like all the potential in the world which the first time i saw her i thought like wow she's gonna kill it and but had no idea like as as good as I think I am at that and trying to predict where things will end up, I had no idea she'd be the level of star that she is now. Because to my honest opinion, I don't mean to embarrass her here <laughs> while I'm talking about it, but like she's just nicking the surface of her stardom now. Oh, wow. Like that's, that is really where I feel like she can go. The, the level of star, she just oozes it from the second she walks out. And it's not, you know, there are certain people that put it on and it comes off and, yeah. and it's a moment. Um, it's just who she is. It just comes out of everything she is. So the the level that she will get to, as long as she wants to, yeah, and puts the work in to do that, um, there's no ceiling on it. Ray, are you blushing? I'm blushing. Are you blushing? Like Kyle's yeah. blushing. We're all blushing. Yeah. I mean it though too. I'm not saying it because she's here. I would say it if she wasn't here. I say yep. I, it's that it's just the truth, and that's just it's her innate ability as who she is. You know, we can teach. We can help we can get people along the way but that innate ability that she has it it's every bit of the foundation is there and then we just help guide it along but it's all her yeah thank you and as an <laughs> aussie we totally claim you as our own because it's it's actually mind-blowing to think you know a girl from Adelaide is now sitting alongside Triple H, hearing mm. those words. I can imagine this is quite a surreal moment for you. Yeah, it really is. Um, like you said, Adelaide, South Australia. Like, you don't, when you start in the independent scene in Australia, you don't think that you're going to make it, let alone be where I am right now, hearing what I'm hearing right now. So I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely is surreal and it, it makes me proud of everything that I've been able to go through, all the struggles and everything and sort of just like powered through and made it here today and hopefully inspired people with my story at the same time.